So today we are going to create this 3D tunnel passing through effect in After Effects. It's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and before we proceed, let's understand what we are going to do today. So we are not going to create anything in 3D. We are actually going to use only 2D elements, but we are going to fake the 3D movement by using some key principles in animation so let me explain you how so as you can see that this is my hand and as i'm moving closer to the camera you can see that its size increases and as i'm moving it far away you can see that its size decreases so this is basically what we are going to do we are going to basically create a ball and we are going to animate it and we are going to play with its size to make it like appear smaller so which will mimic that the ball is like far away from the camera and we can increase its size to make it like appear like it's closer to the camera so let's see how to make this and this is one of those techniques that is not just limited to this animation but in fact you can use it in whatever other animations you want so let's see how to make this so first we will begin by creating a new composition let's call this one main width and height will be 19 20 by 1080 frame rate 30 fps duration you can pick whatever you want just click on ok now we are going to start by creating a circle because this is basically what we are going to like move around and it's completely up to you you can use a circle text whatever you feel like so we have the circle let's align it to the center now there are two ways in which we can move the circle we can either create some position keyframes to like move it around in a spiral loop or the second method is by simply creating a null object and parenting this to the null and after that we can animate the rotation of the null to give a spiral sort of look by simply playing around with some position and scaling so let's see how to do that and now let's align it to the center and i'm going to hold on the control key double click on this pan anchor tool to make the anchor point in the center now let's create a null object so right click let's add a null object and i'm going to select this null let's begin by adding a keyframe for rotation so press r let's add a keyframe let's go to somewhere around five seconds now i'm going to like move it to whatever direction you want if you want to like move clockwise anti-clockwise however you want i'm going to move this to anti-clockwise so i'm going to just set this to negative two so now our this you can see that this null object will like start rotating which is exactly what we want we can select the keyframes and press f9 now we want this to be parented to this null so we can select this and let's just parent it to this null object now the best thing is that we can like simply move it and since it is parented to this null you can see that it will rotate in this circular path we can play around with some position and scale to mimic the 3d motion so let's just simply play around with position first now in the beginning we can like move it somewhere around here so that it's completely out of this frame and for the motion as well we are going to only move it along the x position like this we are not going to bother about the y because the y will automatically change as we are animating through this circular path so let's add a keyframe over here and let's move like little bit ahead and somewhere around here we can like make this ball come closer and like let's keep it over here and i'm going to like move it way closer like that so you can see we have this ball coming in now as it is moving we can like make it even more closer and somewhere around here we can like move it far away or let's just keep it to at three second mark and let's just move it far away and somewhere around here we can again move it closer and at this point we can like go it completely inside the middle so i'm going to set this to zero so that at the end it will go to the center point now if i press play you can see we have this ball coming in and it is moving in a circular path like that now the animation does not look very smooth but we can play around with it later on now let's focus on the scaling part because we are going to like mimic that 3d depth so for that in the beginning i'm going to like increase its scale and we can again play around with some position so here you can see as it is coming in somewhere around here we can have the scale let's move like a little bit ahead and we can like increase it a little bit not much so at this point we can like make it probably smaller so this will give us an illusion that the ball is like moving forward and also let's play around with the position as well don't want it to be like this close so you can see that it is going here and as it is coming to this point we can again play around with the circle or the scale and let's just increase it up till this point and over here as well we can again like make it smaller 
like that let's move it far away a little bit and at this point we can like go it to the center and we can set the scale to zero so it will disappear now if i press play you can see we have this ball and you can see that it is moving and it looks like that this ball is like going away now let's make this more impressive by selecting all the keyframes let's press f9 to ease the keyframes i'm going to first go to the position keyframe so select all of them let's go inside the curve and the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to like select all of these and i'm going to right click let's go to keyframe velocity and check this continuous lock so using this we can easily like make them like very smooth let me show you how so let's go to this point and i'm going to like simply click and we can like move these keyframes up now you can play around with their timing and you can like just move them however you want so we can like keep it around here now you can see that the motion will be very smooth and let's just stick with this motion now let's select these keyframes and i'm going to like increase them or like lift them up as well we can do the same thing over here and let's just try to make it like as smooth as possible so let's select these keyframes and let's just lift them together now if i press play you can see we have this ball and it is moving we're basically moving these part because as our ball is moving to them you can see that it will stop for a second and then it starts moving basically want it to be a continuous motion so hence we are like moving it like that we can probably like make it over here i think this looks good if you feel like some of these animations are like little bit faster then you can like play around with their timing you can increase the distance between two keyframes to make the animation like a lot smoother and slower i'm not liking this part so we can like play around with it a little bit more so i think this animation looks good to me if you want you can play around with it later on as well let's go back so before we continue if you enjoy my work and you want to support me then you can check out my patreon page over there you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description now let's continue and now we are ready to add some like tunnel or some circles like moving around so for that we can again select the ellipse tool and this time we can create a simple circle let's align it to the center and on this one we can select the fill and i'm going to set this to none we are going to only use stroke so set this to 20 and let's just play around with its animation so we basically want this to have a scaling animation so in the beginning we can like set this to zero and let's move somewhere around three or three and a half second and i'm going to like increase its scale now i'm not going to like leave it over here like that so you can see that it is completely out of this frame but i'm not going to leave it over here. i'm going to like in fact extend it a little bit like that so that we have some space for easing so we can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor and i'm going to change the graph to look something like that now if i press play you can see we have this very nice circle coming in let's set this to something like 30 maybe and if i press play yeah i think this looks much better so once you're happy with this we can basically duplicate it and like create a bunch of different copies now there is one more thing that you have to take care of now as our ball is moving if you want to show that the ball is moving very fast then we can have like multiple copies of this like scaling up very quickly but if you want to make your ball move slowly then we can have a lot of distance between these two instances so let me show you how and here you can see we have this scaling up now i'm going to press ctrl d to duplicate this let's add one more copy over here now if i press play you can see we have these two we can probably like make them closer so it will give us the illusion that the ball is moving very fast now let's add one more somewhere around here probably so here you can see we have this illusion that the ball is moving very fast after that we can like make it move a little bit slow so we can have this circle like come after some instance so you can see that the distance between these two is like small and but these two is like really large so it gives us the illusion that the ball is moving like a little bit slow we can have one over here as well and at this point we can have a bunch of different 
these so this is completely up to you you can like basically play around with however you want and let's add one more to this point and let's add one more over here let's add one to this point and at this point we can have like bunch of different coming in quickly so let's have one last over here yeah i think this looks good to me perfect now in order to make this like more impressive we can do some styling to this by adding some colors and some really nice gradients let me show you how to do that so this is the basic of our animation we are done with it so let's start by creating a background so let's add a solid just click on ok let's place it at the very bottom and on this one i'm going to apply four color gradient so let's search for gradient let's drag this four color and it's up to you you can pick whatever colors you want let's give it sort of a purple sort of look so let's set this to purple and i will have one white let's set this to purple as well but i'm going to like make it a lot darker and let's just make this one purple as well and let's make it even more darker so i'm going to select this one and let's just place it to somewhere around here let's move it to this point let's do one more thing let's keep this dark as well because we are anyways going to have some these elements will be like lighter in color so we can like make these darker yeah i think this looks good perfect so i like this color now let's do the same thing on to these rings so for that i'm going to select one of these rings and let's drag the four color gradient and on this one we can like pick the same color which we have over here so let's just copy its hex code and let's just paste it over here and this one we can make it white and let's pick this one and we can like place it over here and this one we can move it to this point let's move one little bit darker and let's place this one to somewhere around here and this we can let's change its color as well something like that now if i press play you can see we have this very nice so just play around with the colors however you want and i think this looks good to me now we can copy this and just paste it on to the next one so just press ctrl v and on this one we can like basically change the position of the gradient so let's move this one over here this we can like create to this point let's make it a little bit lighter yeah i think this looks good now let's do the same thing and i'm going to like simply just copy this and just paste it onto the other ones as well and just simply change little bit of gradient position and i will come back once it is done there you go now i have changed all of these colors and here you can see we have some really nice color gradient going on perfect now in order to make this little bit more impressive there is one more thing that you can do so if i select this right click we have this layer style let's enable inner glow and let's go under the inner glow property and over here we have the size parameter so i'm going to like increase it a little bit not much something like that and once again it's up to you you can like increase the size settings we can make this like precisor softer or you can like make it come from center but i think these settings looks good we can probably change some color let's make it little bit white perfect so once you're happy with this what we can do is we can simply select this layer style and let's select all of these layers and just press ctrl v to paste it now you can see now all of these layers will have this very nice inner glow perfect now our last step is to have some colors to this ball as well so it's actually quite easy we are going to again make use of four color gradient and let's just pick them and just place it over here and the best thing is that for this one we don't have to do much we can just basically change some colors like that and just play around with their color position move this closer and let's move it over here as well let's change this little bit of this purple and on this one as well we can apply the same layer style so i've already copied it and press ctrl v now you can see that we have this very nice layer style but for this one we can probably increase the size so let's just increase it a little bit more so now if i press play you can see we have this beautiful ball and it has all of these colors as it is passing through 
nice so at last we can if you want you can have some text as well so let's just select the text tool and let's type motion nations and let's just simply align it to the center let's press s let's just scale this down and let's add a keyframe for scale let's go over here set this to zero let's select the keyframes press f9 let's change it to look like that now we can trim the beginning and let's just pick a point from where we can have our text coming up let's move it somewhere around here and i'm using this lust font it's completely up to you can use whatever font you want and maybe somewhere around perfect so yeah i think this looks good and there is one last thing that you can do to like make it a little bit more impressive so let me just quickly add an adjustment layer so new let's add adjustment layer and on top of this we can apply some glow let's drag this glow and let's just apply it on top of it you can see that it will make it like really harsh but we can play around with few settings so i'm going to like set this to something like point one maybe and let's just play around with the glow radius you can increase this up quite a bit we can play around with some glow threshold as well let's keep it somewhere around 31 so here you can see we have added some really nice glow and colors to this and you can see that this is before and after the glow just like that so this is how you can create these kind of fake 3d tunnel motion effect in after effects and you can see that the result is very impressive you can use it as an opener or you can use this animation in a different project as well so i hope you learned something from this video and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description so with that being said my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.